Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I actually got around making... Well, first of all, I hope that everybody's safe and taking care of themselves. And, um, yeah, that's important. So, yeah, you guys be safe. You know, do what you can to stay safe. And um, this right here is a sculpture that I did a while back ago. And I finally got a molder. And he made copies for me, and I'm going to um, start selling them. So uh, this video is just to show you how it came out, and um, it was pretty good. Right now, I have only four, and uh, you see them right here. This is the original. It got a little damage from the molding process, but I can fix it. And uh, I should be fine. So, yeah, this is the original. So this is made out of Super Sculpty, and uh, it's a little bit heavy. These are made out of resin, a resin, and they're not as heavy as the Super Sculpty. So, I think they're pretty awesome. They came out really good. So if um. If these, and I don't know, right now I'm trying to sell them on eBay, so I'm going to leave a link. Uh, if I do sell a lot of them, then I'll be able to sell them for a little less. But right now, because of all the cost of the molding and paying the molder and um, shipping costs and selling fees, uh, it's selling uh, f uh, for, I forgot, like 60 something plus shipping. So it's like 60 like sixty-five dollars. I'm not sure. I, don't, I have it on a paper. Uh, if I do get to sell sell these and sell more, I'll, I'll hopefully I, I'll be able to bring down the price a little lower. But because this is just me doing this, um, I have to pay all these other people fees and stuff. So just for me to make just a little bit of profit, uh, um, I'm selling them for this price. Um, I should be able to get fifty copies from one mold. You can push a mold to 50 copies or maybe a little more, maybe 60. So um, if they do sell, then it'll be great. And uh, I'll get another mold made and uh, we'll make another set of copies. And hopefully all the collectors can get, get one of these. Um, like I said, um, it came out really nice. I'm, I'm happy with the results. If you guys get a customizer to paint these like metallic color or something, they should look amazing. Like the the metallic paint job. Like uh, I, I know you guys seen like there's some guys who paint with um. Uh, they use black and then they use silver, and then on top of the silver you use like a a clear coat, a clear clear uh, color. That's what they call them, and so it, it makes it look like metal, and uh, you know. The uh, different types of paint jobs that you can do on these things should be pretty awesome. So I was going to do one paint job on, on one of them and sell one for a little more because it's a lot of work to paint this. So, But I was like, nah, you know, I'm just going to, I've been practicing. Uh, I've been practicing, uh, I don't know if this camera, see I'm using a, a different camera right now. So that's why you see this odd angle because my phone camera broke. So, yeah, I'm not going to paint them, but um, I, I have been out of touch because uh, I've been doing a lot of things. And uh, one, of the, one of those things that I've been doing is uh, learning how to sculpt in ZBrush. And uh, so far, it's been, it's been kind of tough, and uh, I should be able to finish learning it very soon. So maybe my next sculpture or my next... Uh, Sentinel piece will be in will come from ZBrush instead of um, uh, You know like a real sculpture that I made with my hands, so um, Yeah So I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and uh, I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom of this video. I don't know if it's gonna even work cuz the whole new um, YouTube thing so I'm gonna try to leave a link there uh, if you can't find the link there, then I'm going to leave a link on my um, 
Facebook page, which is Kairos One, and uh, Kairos One is um, K A I R U S One. So you can find me on Facebook there for under Kairos One, and you should be able to find the link to the eBay page. If you just go to eBay, just look for Kairos, and um, I'm there. So, um, what else? Oh yeah, I did this little fire hydrant a while back. So if anything, uh, if I'll be able to get a, a mold out of this too, you know. I just not happy with this part right here, so I'm trying to make this part on ZBrush. So I'll be able to make this, and it'll be a cool little diorama piece for for you guys who collect and, and you know buy buy diorama parts. This is also really cool for dioramas, so you can buy it too for your go along with your X-Men diorama pieces. So, and uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Um, I should have shown that little piece where it says, this is for, <laughs> for adult collectors and stuff. Also, I've been working on my little painting. So I look right here, it's almost finished. So I want to share this with you guys. So that's Nimrod uh, fighting with Wolverine. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm almost finished. This is an oil painting. And uh, hopefully, I'll finish it soon. And uh, yeah, just been doing that. Just been practicing ZBrush a lot. And uh, practicing some painting on weekends. Just a, just a little bit. Uh, what else? What else? It's been a long time since I do a video. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely make a new video soon because... I'm selling these things, and uh, yeah, oh, I ordered the Mafex Wolverine, so I should be getting that, I don't know when, because of the whole freaking outbreak, I don't know how the shipping is going to be, I, I think they actually stop all ship ship, th ship things coming in to New, to New York or whatever, so I have no idea when I'm going to get that, so it's just been stalling there for two weeks. Um, Yeah, pretty scary times, guys, so be careful. You know, just uh, stay home. Don't socialize too much. You know, be careful. Wear a face mask. Uh, wash your hands a lot. Um, you know, keep your your family members safe. You know, don't, don't do anything, anything risky. Like, go hang out and stuff and then come back home because, you know, this, this thing is really sketchy. Um, yeah, so... And yeah, so uh, maybe I'll do another video on what I've been doing on ZBrush. I've been learning how to sculpt um, pieces like this on ZBrush. It's kind of tough to sculpt uh, uh, something in ZBrush, and it's even tougher to to make these kind of cuts and pieces and everything, mechanical parts that go together like that. But I actually did like my first uh, wrist joint and my first uh, bicep joint. On ZBrush so that's pretty cool and um, I'll show you some pictures of what I did uh, on ZBrush like some head sculptures and stuff they're kind of rough they're not they don't look professional but uh, I'm almost getting there so it's just a matter of time yeah and that's it guys so if you if you guys have any questions you can contact me through Facebook because I don't think you can co contact me through through YouTube so yeah, and um, yeah, guys, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys later.